Hello everyone. I hope you enjoyed that first verse of that lovely song. Father, I place into my your hands all the things that I can do. And that last line, I know I can always trust you. And that's what our theme is, isn't it, this week in collective worship. We're thinking about that big value of commitment and thinking about trust inside that value, trust. Well, at the moment, all of us have to trust each other, don't we? We have to, as adults, trust that we're going to wear our masks when we go out into shops, when we come into school, when we go anywhere where there are people we wear our masks um, and I, in church, wear my visor as well. I take this one off so that people can see my face and my voice comes out more clearly. But I'm still trusted to wear this. And then, of course, we're all trusted, aren't we, to wash our hands very often saying the Lord's Prayer as we do it. That is about the time that you want to wash your hands for. And what a good thing to do, to say a prayer as you're washing your hands. And of course, if you don't have whoops, soap or a basin or anything, we use hand sanitizer, don't we? And we just put a couple of pumps on our, us and we rub it in, rub it right round in our fingertips and there we are, all over our hands. So our hands are clean and if we touch anything that has might have a germ on it, the hand sanitizer will do its job. And we are trusted to do that. And we're trusting people all over our, where we live, all over our county of Wiltshire, all over England. We're trusting people to do the right thing. There are rules, but of course, if we all did the right thing and we all trusted and worked out that trust, we wouldn't need rules, would we? But that's what trust is all about, doing the right thing. Now, I'm going to read you a story today and some of you will find it very peculiar because it's a story from the Old Testament, you know, the, the part of the Bible that Jesus would have known. And it's a story that's very, very ancient. And in those ancient times, life was very different, as you can imagine. And one of the things that was different was that they thought God would be pleased if they sacrificed animals. Some people even sacrificed people. But they thought that if they killed an animal and laid it on a fire and the smoke from the burning of that animal rose up to the heavens, God would be pleased. Well, of course, Jesus sacrificed himself, didn't he? He was the once and for all sacrifice. He was trying to show and God was showing through him that we didn't need these other sacrifices. Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice and the way we can sacrifice now is is being kind to others, sacrificing our time for others, our money for others. So that's, I wanted to lay that scene because it is a, a quite a strange story. Let me read it to you. It's all about a man called Abraham. The title of the story is Abraham Trusts God. 
Abraham was very sad because he and his wife Sarah had no children. God told him to pack up everything and go to a whole new land to begin a whole new life. Abraham trusted God, so he and Sarah left their home and family and began a long, hard journey. They wandered through deserts, up and down mountains, through green pastures and dark forests, constantly longing for a home of their own filled with happy children. They wandered for so many years, they grew too old to have babies. One night, God said, I'm giving this land to you and your children and your children's children. God, you must be joking. Sarah and I are too old to have children, Abraham said, stro stroking his long white beard. Trust me, my child, God replied. Look at the stars in the sky. Your children and your children's children will be as many as those stars. Abraham thought, how can that be? But then he remembered that God always keeps his promises. And so Abraham trusted God. Well, the story went on and Abraham and Sarah had a lovely little boy who they called Isaac. Their joy was complete. They knew they could have trusted God. And then one day, Abraham had a vision and God spoke to him. And God said, I want you to take Isaac to the mountain and I want you to sacrifice Isaac to me. Abraham couldn't believe it. Here was this longed for, loved child and God was telling him to sacrifice him. But underneath all that horror and fear, Abraham still trusted God. So he packed up the donkey, he got Isaac ready and off they went, up the mountain. And Abraham told Isaac, I am we're going to go and make a sacrifice to the Lord. Well, as they neared the place on the mountain where they were to make this sacrifice, Isaac said, um, where is this animal that we are to sacrifice? And Abraham said, God will provide. And then, horror of horrors, he bound Isaac with ropes and put him on the fire that was already on a flat platform with the fire all around it. He couldn't bear the thought of Isaac burning. So he got a long knife. He lifted it up and he was about to stab Isaac in the heart. When God said, stop. You have proved your faith. Unbind Isaac and go on your way. Whew, what an amazing end to the story. Can you imagine how Abraham felt? Can you imagine how Isaac felt the terror that he must have felt? But God trusted Abraham and Abraham trusted God. It is an incredible story. And you know the link with Isaac and Jesus is that Isaac was nearly sacrificed. Jesus 
was sacrificed. And Jesus was sacrificed for us so that we can continue in God's loving care. So think about that story today. Maybe it makes you feel awful and you never want to hear it again. But it's a story that Jesus would have known so well. So I think it's a story that we need to know and to think about. Let's say a prayer together. Dear God, help us to trust you and your care for us. In all that's happening in our world, help us to remember that you are there beside us, above us, behind us and beneath us. Thank you, God, and give us the strength to trust you and to trust each other. Amen. We say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let's listen to the rest of that song. Father, I place into your hands the things that trouble me. Father, I place into your hands the person I would be. For I know I always can trust you. Father, we love to see your face. We love to hear your voice. Father, we love to sing your praise and in your name rejoice. Father, we love to walk with you and in your presence rest. For we know we always can trust you. Father, I want to be with you and do the things you do. Father, I want to speak the words that you are speaking to. Father, I want to love the ones that you will draw to you. For I know that I am one with you. For I know that I am one with you. Wherever you are, at home, at school, may you remain safe and well. May you trust each other and may you be trusted. And above all, may you know that God is there for you to trust. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with each one of you this day, all those whom you love and remain with you always. Amen. Have a really good day wherever you are.